Oh, get up, so it's time to hyperspeed. Uh... <laughs> all right, so it's time to hyperspeed, fabricate these tables together. Uh, once we've got all of your welding PPE on, hop into the, hop into the tables, and we're gonna start plugging parts in. So, the objective here is to fixture our work into this jig so that it doesn't warp around while we're welding. It would really suck to do this whole process and wind up with a wobbly table. So, I'm gonna plug in my seven inch part at the top, I'm going to plug in my legs on either side and I'm going to start fixturing down. Good practice to grab something straight and make sure that all of these are lining up nice and square. Cool. So now to use these, I'm going to push forward, put some force on it with my hip and tighten down. Push forward and tighten down. So now my legs are prevented from wobbling this way. Now I'm going to come down with these clamps and these prevent the legs from wobbling up and down. So once I have that, my parts are now stable in three dimensions and they're ready to be tacked. Pull, squeeze, guys, get that clamp down. So now again, I'm stable in three dimensions. Here's a look at the fixturing table when it's all set up for the short legs. Notice each leg has two side clamps going in and one top clamp coming down. You'll do that twice. And you'll see one sideways clamp coming in on that seven inch piece in the top. If you do that right, everything's all nice and square, ready to weld. So now tacking. The objective with tacking is not necessarily to produce a very strong union. It's just to hold these in place while I move it around, while I make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. So don't go crazy with your tacks, just two good sized little dots. Okay, time for tacking. I'm gonna come straight up and down so that that little amount of weld that I'm putting down gets good penetration and it squeezes onto, uh, onto the material well. So ready, ready, coming straight up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Those are better. So I need to make this assembly twice, so I'm going to break down my setup. And I've waited for this to cool down just a second. Let's those welds relax, let the whole form relax. Because if I pop it out immediately after I weld, it's still going to be cooling and it's still going to be moving around. But there's our first assembly, we're going to make this twice. Seven inch at the top. 36 inch legs. And then. I use a straight edge to make sure everything is butted up and in line with each other. And I'm going to start squeezing down. And rinse and repeat. Okie doke. So this big intimidating mess of tools is our fixturing to bring together the entire table. Uh, looks scary, but let's take this step by step and figure out what we're doing here. So take our long support, and we're going to plug it into the top of the jig. Now same as the last one, I'm going to press forward and tighten that down. Now I'm going to take these two assemblies that I just did, and I'm going to put the tacks on the inside. Let's see why. Plug that in, should fit nice and snug, cool, one more, nice and snug. So at this point I might come in with a little hammer and just verify that everything is butted up against each other. Cool. All right, now very similar to the last setup, I want to press these big uprights into my work and tighten down. Press them in, 
I'm typing down. Right, so now we're fixtured around this tool. I want to verify that these two legs are parallel, so we're going to use these yellow tools here. I'm going to slot this one in, and it fits just fine. This guy, so we can see even though we use this tool, even though we use this fixturing, that warpage is still there. So me prying this up is prying it back into the position that it should be in. So it warped down, and we're using this tool to press it back up. So from there, I'm going to clamp down onto those tools. So now I know my legs are parallel, they're fixtured down to the table, this structure is secure. Do that one more time on this side. Okay, pay attention to this little bit of movement right about here. See that little part move up there? We have to come back and fix that in a few minutes. So this is going to change. Cool. So uh, thinking about the relationships that I have guaranteed for myself, I know that these are parallel. I know that they're parallel to the table as well. What I'm going to do now is go around with these vice grips and verify that these legs can't wibble this way. So I'm going to take this, I'll put the foot inside of the 90, and I'm going to squeeze snug. And you'll feel it click when everything binds together. And I'm going to run around and do that on all four. So all this set up to throw in these tacks right here. Ready, Freddy. Mr. Hellworth is about to be sad in a couple minutes when he discovers that that leg has moved about an eighth of an inch and he's going to have to break that and re-weld it. But you know what? That's part of doing this. So pay attention. Here we go. So my setup is good. I'm feeling comfortable. I've got no issues that I'm going to fight later. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my tacks. And this is where Mr. Hellworth discovers sadness. Whoops. Welding instructor makes a, makes a little whoopsie there. Okay, so we've updated our fixturing table. We've added two more pieces to hold down those uh, legs to keep them from moving. So there's a clamp here in the corner and on the other leg right here keep everything from moving around so we won't have that same problem again.
take a drum. So uh, now that I'm all fixtured in and I've got all of my parts, uh, I'm a little bit more comfortable putting more heat into this weldment. Uh, everything is starting to hold itself together, so I'm going to start putting in some heavier tacks uh, and, and really firming this thing up. Let's go. At this point, all we're doing is tack welding now. Throw enough tacks on there so that your legs hold together so you can get it out of the fixture in one piece. There's probably people waiting in line, so don't take too long doing this. A couple tacks in each corner and you should be good to go. If nobody's waiting though, you know, feel free to weld away until the next person comes up. Now we're getting to the fun part. You'll need your little curvy pieces and those wood blocks that are our placement jigs. And those are gonna go into your table legs just like so. And you can use an extra block at the bottom of the legs to kind of hold everything in place there. So our structure is 99% done. What we're gonna start doing now is plugging in our curves. Uh, this is where you're really gonna to start to see the error in your welding. Uh, so let's start plugging these in. We'll take the long bit, butt it right up to the top. So. If your curved pieces are correct, that's gonna fit in just so. And also, we can plug in another long jig down here at the bottom. And that's gonna verify that our legs are still staying parallel. So I'm butted up here. Good, I'm not cramming anything in. I don't have to splay my legs apart to get that part in. And we're just gonna throw this in. And it's going to be the exact same story for our short curves. I'll grab my short jig and my short curve. Boink. Boink. And one more short jig. Plug this down.
from that is the fabricated portion of the fusion table. Oh hey, so we're not done yet. Those tack welds, that's just getting started. Find yourself a spot in the shop away from the fixture tables and uh, get yourself set up for proper welding. Gotta throw some solid beads on here, get your welder set up, you know, untangle the wires and all that. Make sure your grounding rod or your grounding clamp is connected to the table. It's not gonna work unless you connect that grounding clamp. And uh, let's throw on some proper beads, make this thing look good. Do I talk about gap filling because that's going to be a thing? You should definitely talk about gap filling. Yeah. Let's talk about filling gaps. So, uh, normally when I have a nice tight union like this, I'm able to just drag my wire all the way across that weld and it's no problem. Here, I don't really have a landing for my weld puddle to go. So what I'm going to do is use that trick called tacking that we were doing. And I'm gonna build myself a little bridge so that I'm able to bridge that gap and then build a weld on top of that bridge. So what I'm gonna do is a little tack here, a little tack here, a little tack here, a little tack here. And I'm waiting for those puddles to freeze before I stack material on top of it. So I'm gonna do a little tack, a little tack, and then see if I can bridge that across. Wait for it to freeze. So there's my bridge and that's my new starting point. So the reason that we're blowing through or the reason that we're not able to build up material is because we're overheating the material. So I'm going to be really gentle and, and kind of tippy toe my way across that joint. I'll let it freeze. I'll let it freeze. And once I'm comfortable with the amount of mass that I have laid down there, then I can just proceed with, uh, I'm doing a little C pattern here, just bridging across that joint all the way down. If you feel like you're getting too hot, if you're blowing through, slow down. Like it was never there. <laughs> 